Here at Jillery, we have this wonderful painting of a tall ship that is similar to those that the British sailed just to the north of here, to Port Essington, one of the, the major early forts in the region. We can see lots of detail, including these box-like shapes, which aren't just portholes, but a depiction of some of the cargo inside. On deck, we can see a small human figure with a hat and its hands on its hips, and that's very typical of the way Aboriginal people depicted Europeans. Uh, probably they saw them in this arrogant stance, uh, a stance that Aboriginal people traditionally didn't take, and so that became a shorthand way of showing what was a European versus an Aboriginal person in the art. And that's very, the design of the vessel is very typical of those of the early to mid 1800s. Next to it is a more recent ship, uh, a destroyer, uh, that may have been off the northern shore um, during World War I or World War II. Below it is a biplane, and the first biplanes came out here in the uh, 1920s. There is a, a cruise ship, uh, of course a more recent vessel to this part of the world, um, sailing ships, and this it is a, a wonderful depiction because there is a photograph of the nearby Colburn Island mission ship that the missionary used that looks almost exactly like this. And so that is probably the ship used at the mission. Now what's also important about this panel is that all of these figures are on top of an older, enormous sea turtle painting. It in turn is on top of part of the, the, the back end of an enormous crocodile. And the crocodile itself is over top of many layers of earlier painting and, and some beeswax. So we've got a very complex, rich panel with many layers of history, one on top of the other.